Alex Jones here reporting for InfoWars Nightly News with this special report. Well, darker days have come to our republic. The United States, once a bastion and light of liberty worldwide, is now an example of tyranny and oppression not even seen in Soviet Russia or Nazi Germany. Not even the Nazi Germans set up checkpoints and grope people's genitals. Now the NFL, basically under unlawful orders by big sis Janet Napolitano, has ordered the NFL to grope all 16 plus million of their fans that go into the sports super centers every year. In fact, the teams have now announced today that starting this weekend, everyone will be groped. Now, before I get into this report, notice, first it's take your shoes off and take your belt off and take your jacket off. Then it's we're going to grope you on the outside of your pants. Then it's we're going inside your pants. Now we're going to put you in these microwave ovens that are killing the TSA workers as well. Now the TSA and Big Sis at the last Super Bowl are there helping run the security of the Super Bowl in Dallas. Now it's going to happen at every event. We're going to grope you from the ankles all the way up to your breast, all the way up to your neck. They say they're going to grab your wife's breast. They're going to take the diaper off of your baby. Uh, the same stuff that goes on in the airports. And people say, well, if you don't like it, don't fly. And then it's, well, if you don't like it, don't go to, to an NFL game. Here's the problem. It's always more, more, more 10 years after 9-11. TSA is announcing and has now shown up in, what, just three, four months ago in New Mexico, groping people at a prom. TSA has announced that they want to put their trained officers. So, so if you get knighted by the TSA that they wave a magic wand, now you can violate people's rights. Police departments, state police, other federal police, and private security guards are now saying that they're going to have a right without a warrant to stick their hands down your pants. They're saying shopping malls. Uh, Janet Napolitano is at the Super Bowl and other games in your face as if you wouldn't be safe if she wasn't here taking all your rights. 9,000 locations like Walmart with telescreens saying don't trust your neighbor, only trust big sis. And, and running PSAs where all the terrorists basically look like tea partiers. This is all happening. This is the authoritarian overthrow of America. It has nothing to do with terrorism. The government admits they put the underwear bomber on the plane on Christmas Day. That was staged on record. All of this stuff is garbage. And we're all the locking number three in Al Qaeda he is hanging out secretly at the Pentagon. The State Department has now come out and said that they won't give up his records for his privacy. It's staged. They were giving Libya. Uh, over to Al-Qaeda. They're giving Al-Qaeda a seat at the UN. They're admitting they're engaged in genocide, exterminating blacks, but that's okay. Al-Qaeda gets given a country, but you, your wife, your children get to have private security grope them. And that's all that's happening here is our republics being overthrown. It's a federal power grab. What jurisdiction does Big Sis have to be in all these big football games? What jurisdiction to be in these public-private partnerships at Walmart saying, you know, don't trust anybody? Let's say terrorism was real. You've got a better chance of dying from being struck by lightning or bee stings. Look it up. Or being bit by a snake. But we don't have checkpoints. I'm out here in the woods. You know, do we have checkpoints right out here? Because I'll guarantee you there's copperheads. I'll guarantee you I'm here in Central Texas. I've killed rattlesnakes in these woods. I've killed copperheads. Out at the lake, I've killed water moccasins. Should there be TSA everywhere because 500 plus people die a year or more from poisonous snake bites more than terrorism? This idea that we're all guilty until proven innocent. This idea that government's got to be there treating you as if you're guilty up front and groping you. Think about it. Imagine growing up if you would have heard that in the Soviet Union, which, by the way, they didn't do this, but imagine if they would have told you in the Soviet Union, they grope you and grab your wife's breast and grab your genitals to go to a football game. How did I know all this was coming? In my film, Martial Law, 9 -1 Rise, The Police State, I have state and National Guard photos from their own websites where it showed them in 2003, 4, and 5 having military out groping small children at college football games in places like Alabama and searching little three-year-olds, little play purses. This is about indoctrinating our children and turning our country into an absolute nightmare system. And they know you need to fly for business or to see grandma who's dying of cancer. They know you want to go see the overpriced football game. 
And so they're saying, okay, we're going to beta test and train everybody that this is okay and acceptable in these areas and then roll it out on the streets. So that's my final point here. This is all premeditated. Governor Ridge, the head of Homeland Security, almost nine years ago, that's how I knew all this was coming on C-SPAN, said you're going to have to have Homeland Security approval to have a job. Everything you do is going to be tracked, face scanning, license plate reading. Homeland Security is going to have checkpoints all over the streets of America, shopping malls, you name it, a total takeover. Worse than any third world country, worse than North Korea. Absolute abject oppression, unspeakably un-American, ridiculously tyrannical and oppressive. So, we've got to draw the line here, okay? They're already pushing for TSA in malls and grocery stores. They already have purchased all these big trucks they say they're going to set up on the side of the highway and make you go through. They already have federally funded, quote, no refusal blood draws without warrants. I mean, imagine the Nazis taking blood at checkpoints. They're doing it. They know foreign banks have taken over. They know that you're going to try to take the country back. So they're trying to, in the name of security, sell this soft, slow, incremental martial law. At a point, it builds up to where it is a hardcore martial law, and we're now reaching that point. This is a PSYOP, plain and simple. It is so scary. Now, this is all being done so they can rob you blind. The country's bankrupt. Europe's imploding. They're announcing world government openly. They need to get this in place, and so that's why I'm here to tell you. Even if you don't go watch the overpriced football games like 16-plus million Americans, what they say, 16.5 million Americans go to these stupid things. They're now admitting that there'll be four or five hours to get in with the groping. Don't be part of this ritual of corruption. Boycott it. And even if you don't go to NFL games, talk about boycotting it. Write letters to the head of the NFL. Write letters to their sponsors, most importantly, and tell them, I'm not buying jerseys. I'm not watching football. I'm not doing any of this. I'm going to go to a city council meeting and talk about liberty and freedom. Or I'm going to write my Congress people. Or I'm going to call them to talk radio. I'm going to get on the field of issues to save our republic and our society. This is why sports has become so sick, because they mix it full of all the propaganda, all the police state garbage to sell you this tyranny. And now they're going to use it to fully condition you and your children to accept tyranny. So we must boycott the National Football League because they are expanding this takeover into every facet of our lives, including highways where we don't have a choice. They're turning the entire country into a giant prison camp, a giant re-education center. So please join me. Start your own website, send your own emails, but create a huge buzz. We are boycotting the NFL until they tell Big Sis and Homeland Security to stop using them as a conditioning end cap to roll out and launch a total TSA occupation of America as the domestic police force and the internal passport. Boycott the NFL until they reverse this or America will be destroyed. This is a serious, hardcore, Red Dawn takeover of jackboots, and the NFL is deeply in bed with it. I will be boycotting the NFL, and I will be speaking out against it. Please spread the word, do your own YouTube videos on this, and let's continue to hammer this. We're going to be doing a lot more in the next few days and weeks. They picked the NFL because they know they can always sell the tickets and they, they think you're dumb and you'll put up with anything to go be part of this uh, garbage and watch a bunch of crackheads basically uh, you know, run around on the field. Show them that your will hasn't been broken. Show them that you're not an idiot. Show them that you're not a moron. Show them that, that you understand what they're doing and we can stop these people. All right, that's it. It's, this is more rant than report. We're launching this boycott right now here on InfoWars Nightly News. Now spread the word on this, get it out to the media and let these people know and let these big mob boss owners of these teams that are deep in bed with the globalists know that you are not helping them destroy the spirit of America and basic human liberty. We're not even fighting to keep America free anymore. We're just fighting to not completely fall into a Soviet-style gulag. Again, I'm Alex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com. Now the rest is up to you.